This is the second down in a row I find myself going toward Houston. Last night it was Spring, Texas. Tonight I'm going down to Dickinson. It's about halfway between Houston and Galveston. I'm on the north edge of Houston right now. The main thing I've seen is damages to the street signs. And a lot of the business signs have the plastic blown out of them. There's a lot of spotty areas of no electricity. And some of the trees are leaning very dramatically. The Flying J truck stop just north of Houston, it's closed. Probably because they don't have any fuel anyway. And they're having issues with, you know, a refrigeration. That's what I see so far as I get deeper into Houston. I'll, I'll give you more information. This is I-45 and 610. And although there are a lot, some street lights here, I just went through an area where there were very, very few street lights on it. And most of the businesses were without electricity. I see the buildings in downtown. They're not as brightly lit as they normally are. The pilot truck stop is obviously closed. It's another area of darkness. This stretch usually has the street lights on and all the businesses are lit up, but it's, it's relatively dark. You see the street lights are on for the section down I-10, but not on I-45. Jake brake sure is loud, isn't it? There's a billboard all destroyed. It's kind of understandable now. They they cover those billboards in a in a fabric that I would imagine has a great deal of difficulty withstanding 75 mile an hour winds. Another area just outside of the Loop 610 on I-45 where there's there's just no street lights, no businesses lit up or anything. Totally without electricity. In the distance I can see street lights, but not in this general area. I see a little police activity down there. I've been seeing quite a bit of that. Uh, the police seem to be checking out unusual vehicles in the area. All the street signs, I mean, all of the billboards and the, most of the business signs are, are blown out here. They're, there's just very few that have the complete signage still, uh, still mounted. The telephone poles are leaning. They took a pretty good hit here. How about that? The Holiday Inn is lit up. There, there's an area with some lights. But over to my right, nothing. With a few street lights, maybe you can see some damage. All the trees in that shopping center were leaning very, very steeply. Overall, from my perspective, on the interstate, it's not too bad. It's much less damage than I expected. But as I said, it's my perspective from the from the interstate. Well, here I am in Dickinson, Texas, making my gasoline delivery. I expected a lot more damage from Hurricane Ike, but it doesn't seem to be as much as I expected. There's a building that's down across the street. I will try to show that to you. It's hard to tell much about it. Looks like the, uh, the front wall collapsed, or maybe the roof collapsed and it fell in upon itself. Other than that, there's a few street signs down in the neighborhoods. Nothing here. Part of the canopy is torn off the store. And on the front, 
and maybe the pricing was blown away or the prices are going up so fast they can't keep up with it. I don't know.